So yesterday the jailbreak update came out for February and we got a fresh new season right here. So I did a video like this last season where I just tried to do all of my contracts in under 30 minutes. So I'm going to do the same thing in this season and I'm just going to determine how easy these new contracts are. So so far we got seven new contracts as Simo said, but um, as far as I know, I think we only get six. Um, I'll talk about that more um, towards the end of the video. But anyways, without wasting any more time, let's just get started with these contracts. So it is 1.58 right now, so it's about 2 o'clock, I would say. So we're going to see if we can complete these in under 30 minutes, or 30 minutes or under. So so anyways, I accepted the Rob Both the Trains contract, because that one's probably the one we should do first, since the cargo train usually spawns. So anyways, first thing we want to do is, let's just go grab a heli. Actually, no, the drone. Cargo train just spawned, let's go over there. And yes, I do have my other account, because... I feel like other accounts, the most efficient way to do it instead of going in a public server because people could be weird and screw you up a lot. But anyways, let's just go ahead, rob the train real quick. And yes, you do want to make sure you do accept your missions before you do them because um, that's the biggest mistake I do. So I did have my train mission um, accepted before I did it. So let's just go in here, uh, just give it a few seconds, just wait until it's like at 500, I guess, because... Last time, I waited until it's at like 200 and it didn't give me the 1 out of 2 sign, so just make sure it gives you 1 out of 2, yep it does. So for one of my police missions, it says arrest $1,000 worth of criminal bounty without dying, so I'm gonna rob the museum later because the museum gives you about $1,000 worth of bounty, but uh, just because I want my other account to get $1,000 in bounty and Asimo scams us. Like even if your other account does have $1,000 worth in bounty, it doesn't let me complete the police mission right here unless it has like a little bit more than 1,000 for some reason. So let's go ahead and let my other account rob the uh, one of the small stores, I guess the donut, because that gives you a little bit of bounty. So we want to make sure my other account has just a little bit more than $1,000 worth of bounty. So we're just going to let him rob the donut shop real quick, and then we'll save the museum for a little bit. So next thing we want to do, let's just wait for the passenger train to spawn because we can't do any of these missions in between because we can't accept them yet. Otherwise, uh, this one will have to start all over again and we don't want to do that. So let's just go over here and wait for the passenger train to spawn. So let's just go ahead and open some of these just to kill a little bit of time just so we could wait until the uh, passenger train spawns. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yep, passenger train just spawned. All right, uh, I'm kind of a noob at hopping up on the cargo or passenger train. So let's see if I could. There we go. All right, sweet. I usually wipe out doing it. All right, let's just just rob a few things. You don't have to rob much, but just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna try to fill up my money all the way just so I get the most amount of money, but you don't have to rob it all. There we go. So now let's just spawn a car and get back to the drone. Don't worry, the drone won't despawn because my other account's sitting in it. So let's just go back there and then let's go ahead and turn in this money so we could complete the first contract. There we go. All right. So next up, let's do the museum one. All right, let's just go ahead, rob the museum. And just remember, you don't have to grab everything um, until your bag is full. You can just grab like one or two things, but just for the hell of it, just because I, I am crazy about making money, I'm just going to grab everything until my bag is full. And again, if you do end up getting a police mission involving like arresting a criminal with um, an X amount of bounty or whatever, I recommend just robbing at least one thing with your alternate account. Yeah, just a few things or whatever. And then, yeah, have both your accounts just solve the puzzles and get out of here. And make sure you accept the mission before we go in and turn it in. Let's do the pop the tire mission. That's the easiest first and it d doesn't involve killing the criminal. So yeah, let's just do the pop the tire mission. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead, park our vehicle right in front of the prison right here and then turn into cop. So what you wanna do is just hop in your drone again just so the drone doesn't uh, despawn after your alternate account hops out and spawns a car. So I'm gonna have my alternate account spawn a car. Let's back up so um, it's not in the range so we can't spawn any vehicle. Let's just spawn the uh, Jeep. It, it's more off-roady than the Camaro so it's easier um, to pop the tire. So now let's grab a stronger gun. I recommend the shotgun. All right, make sure your contract is accepted before we, before you start popping the tires. So let's just go ahead. 
There we go. All right. I just got the, s the third prize, actually. Uh, let's just see. Yep. Um, I'm officially on level four. So another mission we should do now is, uh, yeah, let's just wait until the arrest $1,000 worth of criminal bounty um, is ready. Sorry about that, everyone. I had a really weird glitch with my internet. So yes, I was forced to leave the game and then come back like a few minutes later. So yeah, it's it's like almost 2.30 now, so um, the weird glitch happened at like, I think, 2.12, so we won't count the minutes in between um, 2.12 and 2.30, uh, so um, anyway, so yeah, let's just finish off these missions, so since it forced me to leave the game before I did this contract, I ha had to redo it, so yeah, let's just go ahead and accept this contract now, and then I did do the same process where I got my other account up to um, $1,500 bounty, so let's just go ahead and just boom arrest that criminal and then let's just go pick him up from the prison now so now what we're gonna do since we're just cop let's just accept the last police mission which is bust some criminals in a bank robbery so anyways let's just have my other account come in and hop in the drone and then we're gonna take him all the way to the bank and this contract is actually pretty easy when you just have an alternate account with you all you have to do is have your alternate account pickpocket you so it gets a key card there we go, and then that account goes in the bank, and then as soon as it gets in the vault, then we're gonna go in and then arrest that criminal. And make sure the criminal gets in the vault before you go in there and arrest it. But anyways, yeah, now let's go in and yeah, just yeet that other account out of the bank so we get our mission. So yeah, let's just go in there uh, and then yeet. All right, completed that mission. Now, last one's also really easy. All it involves is just pickpocketing police four times. So, okay, so I just changed into prisoner. So all we have to do, make sure it's accepted. And then all we have to do is just hold E four times in a row. Um, it doesn't mean you have to get like four items. I mean, I think there's only like three items you could possibly get from police, which is the key card, the pistol, and the donut. So all we have to do is just hold E four times. And then, yes, we completed all six of the missions. And what time is it? It is 2.32, so it, it was like 2.27 when we started after that weird glitch happened, and we completed the last missions in 5 minutes, and then the first batch of missions I completed in 12 minutes before the weird internet glitch happened with me, so this took about 17 minutes to complete all these missions. So about a month back, I think, when I was trying to complete the contracts for Season 1, I did a video similar to this where I tried completing all of the contracts in less than 30 minutes, and... Well, I think in that video it took me 27 minutes to complete all six missions without doodling around, but this time it took me 17 minutes, so uh, 10 minutes less than it did last season. So yeah, the contracts in this season, at least uh, a few of them, are a lot easier than, than they used to in last season, and also a lot quicker. You level up a lot quicker and yeah it doesn't take as much xp as it used to when it comes to completing every level so anyways i did get a new prize um in this video so let's just check that out it's a new spoiler i believe so let's go over here star wing oh wow it's actually smaller than i thought but yeah it's still pretty cool i thought it would be a little bit bigger but yeah overall it looks like the star wars x-wing so yeah let's just see what colors this spoiler looks good in so Yes, I think it looks pretty good in radioactive, at least it fits my character. It kind of looks like squid tentacle, so I might keep this on my car. And yes, last night I did get the new rims also, which look pretty cool. I do recommend radioactive. They are actually 3D, as you can see, and yes, when you do drive, it actually kind of looks like the planets do spin around or orbiting the sun. So I'll probably do a, a short speed demonstration of the new rims in, in maybe like later or something. So so real quick, I just want to tell you guys my routine that I do when, when it comes to like what times I want to do my contracts. Just so I could try to get up to level 10 as soon as possible. Um, Yeah, uh, so anyways, so here's my routine. So this is kind of complicated, so I'll try to explain it the best I could. But... So, I do my first six contracts at 6 a.m. So, like, when the update came out, I think really early Sunday morning, I just decided to set my alarm for, like, 6 a.m. And that's when I did my first contracts. And then, since we get new contracts every 16 hours, 16 hours later after 6 a.m. is 10 p.m. the same day. So, uh, yeah, I did my second batch of contracts at 10 p.m. And then, 16 hours later, I went to sleep. And then, the next day, 2 p.m. So, I'll just repeat that again. So... 6 a.m., then 10 p.m., and then the next day, 2 p.m. 
6 a.m., 10 p.m., and then 2 p.m. the next day. So, so that means I practically do like three batch of contracts in two days. So every two days I do uh, three sets of contracts or like 18 contracts, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of how I do it if you guys want to do it too. But if you don't want to do it, like if you're busy or you have school or something, um, you don't have to do it um, the way I do it because you guys have like uh, more than a month, like 42 days or like a month and a half to um, get all the way up to level 10. So you don't have to you don't have to like panic too much and just do all of your contracts like uh, like how I do them. But I'm just giving you guys some advice in case you do want to do it and you're crazy about getting to level 10 as soon as possible. And before we end the video, I just have one more thing to talk about. Feel free to correct me if I am making the mistake, but I'm pretty sure that Asimo did indeed add six new contracts instead of seven in this update. So let me go through the list really quick and I'll prove it. So we got collect a bounty of 3000 without dying. Oh, that's been in the game since season one. Rob both the trains. That's also been in the game since season one. Rob the power plant. So that's one new one. Rob two of the small stores like the gas and donut. That's another new one. Break someone out of their handcuffs. That's been in the game before. Rob the museum without dying. Same with that one. Pickpocket police. That's another new one. So we got three new contracts for criminal sides. And for the police side, we got call the cargo plane X amount of times. That's a new one. That's four new contracts. Bust some criminals in a bank robbery. That's another new one. So that's five. Arrest X worth of criminal bounty without dying. That's been in the game and same with this one. These two are basically the same except this one you have to do it without dying. Pop the tires of a criminal's vehicle. That's been in the game. Use road spikes. So that's number six. And the last one is arrest X amount of criminals without dying. Like arrest between two or four cr criminals without dying. And that's been in the game. So as far as I know, there's only six new contracts that was added in this update, unless I'm making a mistake here. Maybe one of these two was added. Like, maybe it could be this one, but only only difference is you can't die when it comes to arresting new cri uh, more criminals. But as far as I know, I, I think Asimo might be making a mistake here. Maybe it's me, but Asimo might be making a mistake when he says um, seven new contracts were added, because... I'm pretty sure six new contracts was added. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Again, feel free to leave down in the comments. Anyways, um, yeah, take care, guys.